G'day everyone, Jason Haynes here once again, McGrath Riverina with another edition of the Haynes Report, your weekly look at rural property and what has been happening across the Riverina. Well, it's been one of those weeks. It's been warm, it's been showery. Those to the north of the Murrumbidgee, uh, particularly this sort of Narendra area and up, certainly got a very good dose of rain this last week, up to 24 millimetres in some spaces. But those to the south, unfortunately, have missed out. If you're in that northern part, great confidence building for the season. Um, there's still a few showers around though, so hope for that event is not really over and we're gonna see a top up over the next few days. Righto, so what's the rain done? Um, if you're north and you've got crops in, that season is now looking exceptionally good once again. So good confidence builder there. Hopefully we'll see the result of that livestock market continue just to strengthen up a little bit as we see feed restored into that spring period. Um, if you're south, as I said, you are looking for that next rain. Uh, so probably not as great there. But Murrumbidgee, if you're an irrigator... Um, Right, there was no increase in allocation this week, but as I said last week, a very high base to be basing yourself off on that Collium, sorry, on that Murrumbidgee system. Uh, so good confidence there, and with these events going through, particularly the north, which is the Murrumbidgee catchment, um, yeah, hopefully we'll see continued increase in those storage levels. So good news in our area over the last week. Um, hopefully some good rain, and hopefully that confidence keeps ticking along. To the property market this week, well, what are we seeing? Some properties continue to sit on the market. We're not seeing not seeing some of those older listings move at the moment. As I said previously, that market probably has really adjusted, but we're not we're not seeing dropping in prices at the moment. In fact, what I think you'll see is a slow increase, a slow just firming up of those prices over the next six to twelve months. Uh, we do have some good properties coming onto the market for springtime. Uh, you'll hear more about that in the next few weeks. Um, yeah, some quite exciting stuff actually in that cropping space and lifestyle space. Um, so yeah, keep an eye out for that. Um, let me just run through quickly though some of the things that we're looking for at the moment. We're looking for roughly a thousand acres of good country around that Narendra Luton area for running sheep on, for feedlotting sheep on. Um, so that's uh, quite a special buyer. We've got somebody looking for a Collie Ambly farm, preferably in that northern end of Collie Ambly, looking to step in there, make it their family home. Doesn't have to be all irrigation, but that's sort of the patch they want to operate in. Uh, we've got a buyer looking for a substantial parcel of Collie Ambly Irrigation Country in that southern end. Um, so an interesting deal there, but an active buyer looking for several farms in that southern end of Collie Ambly District. Uh, they're moving at the moment. And I've got another buyer looking for some country, uh, preferably that sort of 18-inch rainfall country down to the south in that Lockhart area. So some active buyers in the market at the moment. I think we'll see some good results over the next few weeks. Uh, I do want to put a special mention out because we've had a price reduction on that Pleasant Valley. Um, 1.95 million there on Pleasant Valley, looking to do a deal there. Early access if you want to jump in there and get early access to this property. Um, we've had a reduction, as I said, from 2.1 to 1.95, and a vendor there looking to do a deal. Uh, I was driving over the property yesterday. There's a foot of ryegrass there, a good bulk of food, particularly in those front paddocks. So I think it's a very good buying opportunity there on uh, what could be a property that is very well priced. Now, as always, if you like any more information on anything we've mentioned here today, give me a call, 0488 594 450. Let's catch up again next week. Cheers.